Chicken and dumplings. First, I gotta get my chicken in. First things first. I don't know why it's glaring on the cabinet right here so bad for. <sighs> Maybe it's because I got the camera. There we go. A little bit better. Let's get the chicken in first. Okay, I got everything out. So you're gonna need some. You just put your chicken in here. Whatever kind you want. You can use breast. You can use a whole chicken. Um, dark meat. You just put it in. I'm gonna add some ground black pepper sometimes i gotta shake it and do like this because it gets caught up in there okay and then pinch of salt i usually just put it in my hand like that pinch it two pinches of salt okay and usually i don't want to do salt much so but they said they highly recommend it they said it I look up recipe on YouTube, and the girl that they did it, she used some fresh thyme, but I don't have none, so. So you can just do it the way you like it. And then, cream, a can of cream of chicken. In there. Now, I've seen some recipes that they added the cream of chicken after the chicken was done, but I also seen some that added it with the raw chicken until it was done. So, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to add it. My chicken's still kind of frozen, but it's okay. It'll cook up. And then I'll kind of, as it gets unthawed and cooks a little bit for about an hour or so, I'll, I'll break it up some. And then, just some chicken broth. She said, they said enough just to cover it. You know, cover it up. But I'm going to add it all because I don't want to waste it. So I think it'll be okay to add it all because this will cook down a lot. Um, this is organic, non-GMO non from Aldi. From Aldi. All the oldies. <laughs> Simply nature. Okay. So then when it's done, we are to shred it. And I'll show you guys the next steps from there. For sure. Because we're going to add some other stuff to it. This is a uh, I keep calling it chicken and noodles. It's not chicken noodles. It's chicken, chicken and dumplings, guys. <laughs> not chicken noodles. Okay. So there we have it. Gotta get some apples one of these days. You cover it, and then um, you cook it on high three to four hours or until your chicken's done. So it's up to you. You know, however long you think you need to cook your chicken for. So, yeah. I'm just going to check it. I said, I'm going to check mine an hour because mine's still frozen and needs to, you know, uh, come apart. So, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to check mine in an hour. Make sure it's all pulled apart and getting cooked good. I use tenders, chicken uh, tenderloin, so they're cut thinner. And I think it'll cook faster. And I'm going to make it up with... Um, some mashed potatoes, but I'm also going to add a few more things to this because I've seen some you could just eat it just like this and just add your dumplings, but I want to give it a little bit more of something to eat, you know, something to go with it. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes and gravy. And that's probably all I'm gonna make with it. Okay, now I'm just cutting up some fresh um, uh, celery and carrots to go in it. And then um, what you do next is I'm gonna add some um, frozen peas too to it. So that'll be good. That's the recipe I seen. I think it'd be good to get your veggies in. I'm cutting it really kind of small. Um, that way it cooks fast. This is one reason. Some of the carrots I'll cut in half and do them tiny. And I'll try not to let them fall. Mm -hmm. I just feel like, you know, doing them tiny. And if you do carrots tiny, they won't fly everywhere <laughs> when you're cutting them. You guys see okay? It's like I never get the camera right. It's like. Okay, I've never made these. I've never made chicken and dumplings before. But this kind of reminds me of like the chicken soup, right? Yeah. Or chicken and noodles. But you put dumplings in them pretty much. See, like now's the time when I should have my stylus out. So I don't have to reach over and shut the camera off. Right, your guys' faces, because I don't edit that stuff out. <laughs> hey, it's more real to me. Let's be real, right, guys? Let's be real. Hey, I'm coming clean on this video, too. Telling you the, telling you the real deal. I did so much today. I guess it's about my third video I've recorded today. <laughs> I've been cleaning, mopping, sweeping. But on my third load of laundry, and then I'm done with laundry. I want to get everything done before the weekend. And I want to clean bathrooms tomorrow. We used to always do bathrooms on Friday. Most times. Not all the time, but most times. Do the bathrooms on Fridays. So I don't have to clean none this weekend besides regular cleans. And I just sharpened my knife with this. So it's a nice sharpener. I've been keeping my knife. I took you guys' advice and I've been cleaning. Keeping my knives all nice and sharp. It makes cutting stuff so much easier. So much easier. So what are you guys doing this weekend for Dad's Day? Like we're just grilling out, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Timmy really said what he wants to do. I asked him earlier and he didn't really say. I said, it's your day. What do you want for dinner? Do you want to grill out? You want me to make something for you? Eat out, probably not. Like I said, some of our inside restaurants are open, but I ain't going in restaurants for a while still. Not for a while. Not for a little while. What about you guys? Have you guys been in a restaurant yet? It's a bit cloudy all day today. Today is still Thursday. And like I said, I uh, today's Thursday. I recorded a little bit this morning on for my Thursday's video. And then I got another one that will go up Friday. So today's Thursday, so you probably won't see this till Saturday. I know I'm always so behind on videos, but I try not to get too far behind on videos. I try not. It's it's so hard to get a video up on the same day you record it. It's so hard. This knife is so sharp that it's, because I just, like I said, just sharpened it. It's cutting the paper plate. Uh, I didn't feel like carrying my big cutting board over here. That's Haley going inside. She's just hanging out outside on the trampoline. No, no, the trampoline. Just doing whatever. Still ain't quiet enough. The pool's like really super cold. Oh, this weather. Ohio weather. I think sometimes. Hopefully next month, July. It'll get really hot, but we're just, what? Just now halfway through. You could judge about how many carrots and stuff you want to put in and peas and all that, so. You could judge your own how you want to do that. That's what I'm doing. I'm just cutting up some. Just going with it. Go on with it. Just go on with it. 
Okay, I'm gonna put these cheese up. Oh, yeah, has they didn't show up. Okay, guys, I think it's time to shred the chicken. It's smelling so good in the house. It's been on for three hours, but it's done. I got the carrots and the celery done cut up. I'm gonna get some frozen peas put in there too. Just let it max out and look at my flowers. Look at that white flower there. The pot that's in the middle there. Right there. Oh, it's way bigger. It's way taller than the mother ones, the pink ones. But they're still pretty. I love them. I love them. Okay. Let's go. Get this chicken shredded up. Real quick. Dump our veggies in. And do our biscuits. It's 419. So, time this gets done, eat dinner. I done got the potatoes ready to go. What we do is start cooking them. So, these are the biscuits I'm using. I'm gonna cut these up in chunks and throw them in there so they get the chickens ready to go first. Gonna do chicken first. I just uh, cut the biscuits and then I cut them into six and drop them in. I already got some of them in. Actually, I didn't got them all in. Mm. Hope it ain't too many. <laughs> Never did this before. And then I heard you just let them go. We'll put down in the juice though, just to make sure they're all good. Okay. I'll come back and let you guys see. See what they look like. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to cook it here. I forgot to get that info. <laughs> oh well, it don't matter. It'll be ready when it's ready. Now I got my mess to clean up. So I just shredded the chicken on. Do my potatoes. Put my peas up. We're good to go. Uh, peas won't take long at all. Like I said, I'm not sure. I'm going to wait a few. See how long it takes these to cook up before I... Oh god, this needs clean. I gotta clean that up good tonight oh look at that that's a mess what ya? oh that's gonna get good scrubbing tonight look at this side not too bad until i work from this side my <laughs> it will chicken and dumplings are done oh they get they're smelling so good they got the house smelling great look at that mm -hmm. Got the potatoes done over there already and mashed up and everything. So we are ready to eat. Look at that big one. Actually, it's probably something stuck together, but... Oh, well. Yes, they are smelling wonderful. Can you guys smell it? Oh. My little outside barking. Can you guys smell it? Mmm. It's barking at the neighbors. The neighbors are out. <laughs> Silly dog. Okay, let's... Serve this up and give it a try. Okay, guys, there it is. All served up. Lots and lots of pepper. Got that pepper. And, of course, fancy girls here. That's a girls here. Okay, guys, let's try this. I'm not really going to try the potatoes because we all know what potatoes are like, right? But that chicken's kind of big piece. I don't want a big piece of chicken. When I'm trying to taste it for you, Enzo. <laughs> that is so good, guys. Yummy. This is good for a cold winter day, which it ain't today, but oh well, it's still good. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for watching so much and cooking this with me. I hope y'all give it a try, which a lot of you probably don't have, but I sure have it. <laughs> and I hope you guys all have a lovely, lovely weekend. And I will see you all in the next one. Love you, friends. Bye. Shay, 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 shay.